celebrations in a displaced persons camp in Baghdad. Residents of Anbar province welcome the news that Ramadi has been liberated from Daesh. You cannot imagine how happy people are that Anbar has returned to the nation, that Anbar has returned in the hands of people who are good, of the army forces, of its sons and the heart of Iraq. They're hoping to return home, but it could be a long wait. Since Daesh seized Ramadi in May, most of it has been reduced to rubble. Iraqi officials say 80% of the city has been destroyed by fighting, including more than 250 schools, and Daesh bombs and booby traps still remain. For these displaced people in Amiriyat al-Fallujah camp, the wait could be even longer. Many come from the city of Fallujah and other parts of Anbar still under Daesh control. They've lost their homes and income and rely entirely on international aid. I'm displaced from Habanya. My husband was killed. I have 12 children to take care of, together with his second widow. We have nothing here, and we're staying in this camp. The recapture of Ramadi by the Iraqi army backed by U.S. airstrikes is seen as a victory over Daesh. The plan now is to retake the rest of Anbar province, finishing with Mosul. And when the battles are over, the entire province will have to be rebuilt. So for many of these residents, the celebrations may have come too soon. Shamim Chowdhury, TRT World.